Hello everyone. So if your outboard is shaking a lot when it's on, so for example if it's an idle and it's shaking like this left and right, there's usually two main causes. One of them is obviously the carburetor, so if one of them is dirty or something like that, there's a clogged hole inside it, it can cause it to run rough. But one thing you can really quickly check, just uh, it's very easy to fix, but just something to look for. Essentially, how much the reed valves open. So first off, when the engine is in idle, the throttle should not be touching the roller. So as you can see here, there's a tiny little gap. I don't know if you can see that, but right in here, there's a tiny little gap. But when you when you put it into forward, uh, into it's in running in neutral with the choke up, the throttle is still not being touched. Now, what needs to happen is when the throttle moves, both throttles need to move at the same exact time. So you can see this one is actually slightly off. You see how I'm moving the bottom? The top is still not moving, and then only after a little bit does it start moving. Now this is an issue. This tiny little calibration makes the engine run not nearly as smooth. Now the second half of this is when you put the engine into forward full speed, the valves need to be completely perpendicular. I don't know if you can see that here, it's a little difficult to see, but right in here is the little valve pin. Now the pin should be facing directly, should be facing vertically when it's in full speed. So for example, see as I turn the throttle up, when it's in full forward position, so you take your controller and you go in full forward, this pin should be completely vertical. And if you can see, there's another pin down below. It's a little hard to see because, uh, I don't know if you can see that. But essentially there's one for each carb. So even if you have three carbs, you'll have three of them. So the most important thing is when you're in full speed, all three pins are perfectly vertical. Now if any one of them are slightly more open or not enough open, this will cause the engine to not run perfectly. As you can see, this is pretty much in combination with uh, this is what I was saying here. So essentially, as you move the throttle, first off, calibrate this so they're both running at the exact same time. So the second you touch one, the other one moves. There's no delay between one and the other. And once you have this done, make sure that when in full speed, the bars in the back are completely vertical. This means the carbs are fully open because if it's more than vertical, they'll start closing again. And if it's not vertical, they're not fully open. So th these are the two synchronization parts. It's very simple to check this. Outside of that, you probably have some sort of issue with dirty carbs, but if you just check this linkage setup, everything just needs to move at the same time. And the first time I had this uh, on my other motor, this moved quite a bit even more before the second top part did and the engine rumbled a lot. As soon as I made this adjustment, the engine ran perfectly smoothly. It, it didn't shake or do any of that. If anyone just is looking for a really quick tip or just something you can check without much knowledge, just see what's going on. The valves should be vertical at full speed and as they're engaging, both throttles should move at the exact same time. So I uh, hope this helps.